John Campbell got his start in harness racing from his father, a respected horseman in Ontario. The younger Campbell made a reputation for himself at the Detroit area tracks in the early 1970s and shifted his base of operations to the Meadowlands when the New Jersey Oval opened in 1976. Now Campbell is the winningest driver in Meadowlands history. His explanation for his success is simple. Good horses to drive, that's what makes a good driver. I've been very fortunate with the trainers I've been uh, associated with since I've come to the Meadowlands and uh, the mile track I've raced in Detroit and was easy enough to adapt to the mile track racing. I think that helped me a little bit. Although Campbell is a fixture at the Meadowlands, as evidenced by his record 303 wins there during 1983, he does occasionally venture out to the Grand Circuit to catch drive in many of the major stakes. Campbell and his chief rival Bill O'Donnell represent a new breed of driver who do not train the horses they race. More and more I think you're going to see the harness drivers uh, there's going to be more and more just catch drivers. Uh, I don't think it'll ever come in the way of, of uh, the thoroughbreds and just have jockeys and separate trainers. But uh, more and more, there's uh, guys like myself and Billy and Walter Case and even Hervé Fillion is uh, primarily a catch driver now. And I think, I think that's going to be a trend in the future. With 2,000 career wins before his 30th birthday and already the leading driver of two-minute performers, John Campbell seems a cinch to surpass most of the harness racing records before his career ends. This is John Henderson reporting.